लेट्स टेक द सेकंड प्रॉब्लम द प्रॉब्लम विच आर रिटर्न ईयर इज फ्रॉम द क्वेश्चन पेपर सो प्रीवियस ईयर्स डिसंबर 19 जनवरी 20 इट इज मेंशन इज एनालाइज द बीम कंप्लीटली बाय स्लोप डिफ्लेक्शन मेथड वेयर इन दे हैव गिवन द सिंकिंग ऑफ सपोर्ट्स सो लेट मी राइट द सिंकिंग ऑफ दिस सपोर्ट i will take this point b to b dash now it is sinks by 1 mm it means this comes down by 1 mm at the same time support c moves up by 0.5 mm if we put a simple straight line now we can see how relatively these supports are moving so if we take this support b With respect to A, support B sinks by one millimeter, and whereas support C, with respect to B, rises by 0.5 millimeters. So we have a general formula for this slope deflection equation. Let me put it as M A B equal to M F A B plus 2 E I by L, two times of theta A near and slope plus Far and slope minus three delta divided by L. Now we get all the three terms theta a, theta b, and delta also because with respect to a support b sinks by one millimeter, and with respect to b support c rises by 0.5 millimeter. So to accommodate this, we need to take this general equation of slope deflection method, including this last term minus three delta by L. Here. From the problem, you can say delta A B or B A that is equal to one millimeter positive because when we derive the equation, we have taken the sinking of right support with respect to left, so it remains as positive, or it is equal to one into ten to the power of three meters, whereas delta B C or delta C B both are same. In this case. We have 0.5 millimeter. You can see the relative displacement of C with respect to B. So B sinks by one, and whereas C moves up by 0.5. Totally B totally sinks by with respect to C one plus 0.5. It is 1.5 millimeter, and left support is sinking, so it is 1.5 millimeter minus because left is sinking, or it is minus 1.5 into. 10 to the power of minus 3 meters because we need to convert them into kilonewton and meter so first step as usual let me go for fixed end moments considering both the spans ab and bc as fixed beams mf ab is equal to the so ab is subjected to point load at the mid span so the equation is Minus W L by 8. That is equal to minus 80 into L is 8 divided by 8. That is minus 80 kilonewton meter. Since it is symmetrical, M F B A is plus 80 kilonewton meter. Come to the next span. It is BC subjected to UDL. MF BC equal to minus W L square by 12. That is the standard equation. That's equal to minus 20 into L square is six square divided by 12. That is equal to minus 60 kilonewton meter. Since again it is symmetrical on the span, MFCB will be equal to plus 60 kilonewton meter. So this is the first step. We did the calculation of the fixed end moments. Let me move to the second step. That is slope deflection equations. We need to generate slope deflection equations for both the spans. There are two spans. Totally, you will get four equations now: M A B, M B A, M B C, and M C B. Let me put first one: M A B 
you can use the standard equation mf ab mf ab is minus at plus 2 ei by l observe the value of i given it is 2i here in the problem so we have to take 2 into 2 times of ei divided by span is 8 meters in the bracket 2 times of theta a that is unknown plus theta b minus delta a b is 1 into 10 to the power of minus 3 3 times of 1 into 10 to the power of minus 3 divided by l is 8 you can reduce this now this becomes 2 so it is 0 0.5 0 0.5 of ei ei is also given directly in terms of kilo newton meter square you can substitute 0 0.5 into 30000 it is 15000 2 times of theta a plus theta b 3 into 10 to the power of minus 3 divided by 8 if you just simplify this put it in terms of values it is 15000 to 2 it is 30000 theta a plus 15000 theta b minus 15,000 into 3 by 8 and 10 power minus 3 minus 80 all put together comes to 85.625. Take this as equation 1. And similarly, I can put it MBA now. Only exchange these two coefficients for theta a and theta b that will become 15,000 theta a plus. 30,000 theta b plus 74.375. Let me go to the second span MBC. MFBC is minus 60 plus 2 times of EI is same 30,000 and for this span the given I is only 1I. So it is directly 2 into 30,000 divided by span is 6, 2 times of theta b plus theta c minus of, already told because support c is moving upwards with respect to c, so left support sinking downwards, it is minus 1.53 into of course, 3 into minus 1.5 into 10 to the power of minus 3, divided by span is 6. So the equation now MBC is minus 60, it is 10,000 into 2000 B plus theta C plus 0 0.75 into 10 to the power of minus 3, 20,000 theta B plus 10,000 theta c, it is minus 52.5. This will be your equation, sorry, change this to 3 and 4. And the other equation for the same span, you can simply put it with the exchange of coefficients of theta b and theta c. It is 10,000 theta b plus 20,000 theta c. The last term is 60 plus 7.5, it is plus 67.5. This is equation 5. So let us move to the next step now. Then we have the third step end conditions. The part A it is. The end conditions now the support A is fixed and the support C is on the simple end or hinged end. Since A is fixed, we know that the slope at that point is 0 always, so theta A is 0. So you can simply take out the term theta A now from equation 2 it is 0 and from equation 
3 also it is 0. And the other end, since C is on simple end or simple support, we know the condition that at that point the moment should be equal to 0. The moment at C means it is MCB, MC towards B should be equal to 0. Now I can use this equation 5, you can get one of the conditions now. So from equation 5, from equation 5, we get 0 is equal to 10,000 theta B plus 20,000 theta C plus 67.5. So I can reduce this as an equation form now, 10,000 theta B plus 20,000 theta C is equal to minus 67.5, take this as equation 6. And the second condition that means the joint condition, so support B here is a joint where member A, B and B, C are meeting. So, joint equilibrium condition we can also call that as compatibility condition. Compatibility condition from that condition we can write the condition that the moment on either side should be same MBA plus MBC should be equal to 0. We have equation forms of MBA from equation 3 and MBC from equation 4 therefore adding 3 and 4, I will put it here, so theta A is not there, theta B is 30,000 from equation 3 and I have another 20,000 from equation 4, so totally it becomes 50,000 theta B plus I have theta C only from equation 4, it is 10,000 theta C. Now I have 74.375 minus 52.5, so it comes to around 21.875 plus, so because I have more plus positive 74 minus 52.5, if we transfer this to the other side, it is equal to minus 21.875. It will be 50,000 theta B plus 10,000 theta C is equal to minus 21.875. So, we have equation 5, sorry 6 and equation 7. So, two linear simultaneous equations, if we solve these two, we will get the solution for the unknown rotations that is theta b and theta c. Solving equations 6 and 7, we get, you can solve this small equation using calculator itself, we will get theta b is 2.639 into 10 to the power of minus 4 radians and theta c is minus 3.507 into 10 to the power of minus 3 and we already know from the condition that theta A is 0. All the three unknowns we got it, theta A, theta B and theta C. So, substituting the unknowns in equations 2 to 5 we get. We have the equations 2 to 5 in the form of slope theta A, theta B and theta C. You can M A B, you can cross check the answers. If you want clearly still you can use the same equation and put it. It will be minus 81.667 kilo Newton meter and MBA 
substitute theta b into this equation it will be plus 82.292 and m b c minus 82.292 because this is the condition we have used here from equation 7 and the last one m c b with all the substitution we will get it is equal to 0 because we use that condition in the equation that is m b c or m c b equal to 0. So, we got these answers now all the four end moments I will put it on to the beam minus means it is anti clockwise at end A towards B 81.667 and here you have positive and negative plus 82.292 minus 82.292 at B clockwise and anti clockwise and the last one M C B is 0. So, we have analyzed to get these moments that is our motto behind this application of this method slope deflection method it ends here the method ends here the rest of the things is regular we have to sketch shear force bending moment and elastic curve as usual we need to take the free body diagram of both the spans separately along with the end moments what we have found and you can find out the reactions and the other required quantities. Let me take the free body diagram of AB. AB is a span of 8 meters subjected to 80 kilo Newton. At A, let me put the reaction as A. At B, I will put the reaction as partial amount at B because B is a connection there to join A, B and B, C. Let it be R, B, A. And the end moments 81.667 kilo Newton meter and the positive one 82.292 kilo Newton meter. So, using your regular equilibrium equations for a two dimension problem sigma m sigma f x sigma f y equal to 0 you can able to find the reactions here. Let me take moment about a equal to 0 80 into 4 plus 82.292 moment minus 81.667 minus RBA into 8 equal to 0. So, the value of RBA comes to 40.08 only one unknown 40.08 positive value you will get that means what we assume the direction of the reaction is correct. And therefore, use the second equilibrium equation sigma f y equal to 0. I have R a plus R b a is equal to 80 kilo Newton total load acting on it. Therefore, R a will become 39.92 kilo Newton. Again, this one is also acting upwards. So, use this to sketch this shear force for this free body diagram for AB itself so that you can get RA is 39.92 kilo Newton, RBA is 
So we have 40.08 on the negative side, 39.92, this is positive negative. So exactly at the point of application of the load, 80 kilo Newton, the shear force is changing. Let me call that as point D. So we need to calculate the bending moment at D also now. Therefore, bending moment at D option is you have to take right or left, both the sides have same calculations. 40.08 into 4 minus 82.292. So, bending moment at D is around 78.013. So, these three values that is reactions and moment is required, reactions to sketch the shape of diagram and of course, bending moment at D, we can use with the end moment to sketch the bending moment diagram for the span AB. Let me take out this now and do the calculations for reaction to find for the span BC, free body diagram of BC. So again BC is a span of 6 meters subjected to UDL. At the end C I will put the reaction is total contribution RC at B. I will take the partial one RBC. We have done RBA, now it is RBC. So total together will be RB now. And the moment at B is 82.292 kilonewton meter. We do not have moment at C because it is simple end. And the UDL in cent is 20 kilonewton per meter. So taking same thing, same procedure, sigma mb equal to 0. So I have UDL 20 acting over a length of 6 meters, acts at a distance of 6 by 2, minus 82.292, the moment acting at b, and then minus rc into 6 is equal to Therefore, RC is equal to 46.285, again acting upwards. Use the other equation of equilibrium, sigma Fy equal to 0, RBC plus RC is equal to total load or minus 20 into 6, it is 120 equal to 0. Therefore, RBC is 120 minus 46.285, it is 73.715 kilonewton. It is also acting upwards. So, let me take these values onto the free body diagram 73.715 kilonewton. 46.285 total is 120 and it is acting upwards and we have a linear variation of the shear force because UDL is acting there 46.285 we have minus and plus let me transfer this point onto this call this as P. What is this point here where shear force is changing its sign? It represents the point of maximum bending moment in that particular span. Let me define the distance from the near end. Let it be at a distance of x. So to find out this distance, we know the condition. The shear force is changing its sign means instantaneously it becomes 0. So therefore now Fp, let me take right side, is equal to 0. Shear force at P is equal to 0. What is shear force? It is algebraic sum of vertical forces. I have 46.285 upwards and the portion of the UDL is acting downwards. So it is plus 20 into x acting downwards towards right is positive minus 46.285. 
therefore x equal to 46.285 divided by 20. So it is around 2.31 meters. That means your point of maximum bending moment is located at a distance of 2.31 meters. So once you locate it, we need to calculate the bending moment at the same point. Let me put it bending moment at P. I will take MP since I have found the distance from right side. MP towards right is equal to whatever the forces we have now. 46.285 the upward force to the right produces positive bending moment into the distance is 2.31 minus 20 into 2.31 over which UDL is acting and it acts at a distance of 2.31 divided by 2. The answer is around 53.558. So all these values you can put it onto the beam. Let me sketch the free body diagram of the beam. Complete. Have the end moments 82.292, of course, kilo Newton meter 81.667, and we have the reactions. This is 39.92 kilo Newton, and we have the combination of the reactions from BC and as well as BA. It is 40.0 A's towards A and this one is 73.715 and this is 46.285. You just simply superimpose the two CFO diagrams what you have done in the free body diagram cases that becomes this SFD for the entire continuous beam. Let me take the reference line or you have the values written on this free body diagram also 39.92. No load it is constant coming downwards by 80 so 40.08. This is 39.92 kilo Newton. 40.08, we have a reaction of 40.08 plus an additional reaction of 73 that will be coming down to 46.285 kN. This together CFO diagram of the free body diagrams constitutes the entire SFD for the continuous B. So let me put this bending moment diagram also below this. Take the reference line again and we have done this sketching on the arrow head downwards that is tensile side it is 81.667 below the reference line and I have 82.292 is the moment at B towards left and right 
81.667 is moment at A, end moment of course at C it is 0. And we have got the positive value of bending moment at D where point load is acting it is around 78.013 kilo Newton meter it is positive and we have this point P here at a distance of 2.31 meters let me transfer that here the moment what we calculated is 53.558 kilo Newton meter. So you need to join them now look at the loading diagram on the given beam you do not have any load between A and D so there will be linear variation of the bending moment join minus 81 to plus 78 from plus 78 to minus 82.292 and then because BC is subjected to UDL let me complete it by a parabola. You have positive, negative below the reference lines. This completes the bending moment back. So, we have one more piece to do that is your elastic curve. Okay. I will take it separately. I will put with the conditions of the supports also hinged, fixed at A, again hinged at C. We already know that B is sinking by 1 millimeter and C rises by 0.5 mm. Those to be mentioned to sketch the elastic curve. And you can see that the point of contraflexes are 1, 2, and 3. So, 2 in the span AB and 1 in the span BC. So, that also let me put it approximately. So, to sketch it now, you do not have any slope at A because theta A is 0. So, the clear distinction now. This is hogging, sagging, hogging and sagging. So this is your elastic curve or a deformed shape of the beam. It is all exaggerated. Do not think that it will so much deflection will occur. It is 1 millimeter, 0.5 millimeter. To represent the hogging, sagging, it is clearly not. You cannot see that physically in any beam. So this completes this problem of slope deflection wherein you have different sinking at B and as well as C with different techniques positive and negative.